So, modifications to headphones. Pause the music for a second. I have not one, but two mods by a guy named JMOCD. And he's made posts on HeadFi, he's made reviews done on Reddit, and I th he is a part of the Hi-Fi Guides forum community, if you'd like to go there. Um, I don't know if there's posts specifically for his mods, but if there isn't one, I'll fucking make it. Um, and I've got two of his modified headphones, both hi fi -mans. We've got the R70X. Here's my stock pair. Here's his pair, signed. And here's my stock pair of uh, hi fi R9s which is the big, more expensive uh, dynamic. And here's his modified pair, which does actually weigh quite a bit more, also signed by him. So I don't have two A90Ds. I kind of wish I had two identical amps. The only ones I have are the THX AAA1s, and I wasn't going to pull those out. So what I've been doing is I've been swapping between the LA90 with the balanced output and the uh, A90D, with the balanced output being fed from the ONXA Magic DAC with the stock uh, op amp in it. So I've got it all sort of balanced out and leveled and I've been just swapping things or swapping cables here or however you want to imagine me doing it and trying to assess the difference. The first thing that I wanted to show you difference wise is something I'm going to actually do to modify my pair. Um, this is his edition and he's done a very extreme bend to the headband and mine is still stock. Look how nice and round that is. I like the way this feels because a lot of it touches your head. When you put it on, a lot of this touches your head. Problem being, there's not a lot of clamp here. It's sort of like loosey-goosey. And I noticed one of the better things about his mod is this, this clamp's tight. And when it clamps tight, you get better bass response. So it's really not fair to compare the two until I fix that. And by fix that, I mean take it... How am I going to do this? Can I do this on camera? And then just molest the spring steel essentially flat there yes you have to molest the spring steel trust trust me these are the, the the terms that professionals will use in the field so now i've got more bend here and there and then he sort of flattens his out but i'm not going to i'm just gonna let it go give, give a little more a little more bite on that and now i should this is somehow even springier still anyway so that was like the only thing i wanted to show beforehand is that his mod includes this extreme, uh, I wonder if he takes this off and it reinforces it to get that sort of bounce. Yeah, because it's still a little, still light on mine. I could still go further. I'll have to unplug it and do some weird shit to it. But I think the clamping is a big help for low end on the R7DX. That's Romeo 7 Delta Zulu. No, X, xylophone. X, X-ray. It's one of those. Um, this, there's no visible, I no pad mod change. Usually with uh, modifications of headphones, step one for me at least is just swap the pads. Problem is, hi men are son of a bitch. And the pads have that weird clip system. So you can't do that. Uh, so I'm going to shut off the camera, answer my phone, and then do some listening and we'll come back. <sighs> do you want to be depressed? I'm going to link a video in the description that's going to make you depressed. It's the chaos is a ladder speech that Littlefinger gives in season three of Game of Thrones. Remember what season three of Game of Thrones? <laughs> It was the greatest show on television and couldn't be beaten no matter what. I got the bend right, by the way. Finally. Oh yeah, it's definitely... And actually, you can see how dirty my space bar is for me. Just rubbing it just in that one spot. I hate it. You know, chaos is a ladder. Um, so, the difference between, at least in the R70X versus the OCD-70X. Uh, Very much lighter, even with the clamp improved. And it's 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 not a big weight difference, not as big as it is in the R9, but I'm not talking about lighter as far as like weight. I'm talking about like weight of the sound. So the weight of the sound in the OCD mod is, he's bringing, what I liked about the R70X, they sounded like Sundara. Sundara are a light, open natural headphone they, they float they're airy part of that was the, the lack of clamp uh removing a little bit of the low end but really they're tuned in some way that it's just like you sort of lose things but it gives you distance and that's why i recommend them they were like a hundred dollars when they were on sale what the mod does is it takes that openness and sort of backs it up a little bit like maybe 25 percent inward 
and then adds back the low end via the bending and probably whatever tuning has been done inside. So you get actually a more balanced, normal headphone. And this is going to be a, a prevalent theme in all of Z reviews. So if you're watching this one and you watch Z reviews regularly, don't forget to hit that subscribe fucking shit. I hate saying it, but no one does it anymore. I don't subscribe to YouTube channels I love, and it's like, why? Oh, because I'm going to watch it anyway because it's going to pop up my recommended anyway. I could bitch about the algorithm in another video. But the point is, what I like in a headphone is that it's different from normal. All those headphones up there, you see them? You see them? They're endless, and they're in piles behind me and tucked in the floor. If every headphone here sounded the same, uh, this would be a real shit channel. I like when a headphone is different. So what the R7DX did was sound different from other closebacks. What the mod does is bring it around to be like, if you only have one headphone, which is very hard for me to get in the mind space of someone who can only have one headphone, like... <laughs> What is this? I thought this was America. Um, so if you could only have one headphone and you wanted a more balanced headphone, a little more low end, a little more control and a little bring the details in a little bit closer, I would do the OCD mod to it or I would have J uh, Jam do the OCD mod for you. You'll get it sort of like pushed back into like the, the, the conformity of like, oh, this headphone has better detail, a little more low end, it's more balanced. That said, if you already own five headphones, don't touch this. Don't touch, don't touch the clamp, undo the clamp thing, keep it alone because I want that light, open, airy, almost bass light, <clears throat> not bass less, but bass light sound. When I just touched, if you have a set of R7DX, R7 just take your fingers and like push. Just push them a little bit closer to your ears. Just, let's just give a little a crush, a little bit of seal, and you'll feel what I'm talking about. Because they don't clamp on their own, and I never wanted them to clamp more. But if I do that, it's like, all right, there's a little more bass. It's a little bit, little bit closer, but it's not like, even with it done, it's still not like bassy. And it's not this. He's done a lot more with this than just clamping it harder. And it's definitely, if you have two sets of them, you can now have two sets of them. The light and airy mo uh, unmodified version and the thick more more meaty it's like it's like having a, a spare rib that has like actual meat in it versus like a very thin one but you know occasionally i just want to like not have bass cannons i'm an argon fanboy if i want bass i put argons on if i want bass i wear my lyrics i have options if you don't have options but you want more bass and you already own these you have the option to modify them so i would give this an a plus for effort mod personally would keep this the way it is but that's definitely what that's doing. So now to swap over to the HER9 OCD edition and see what that does, because there's a fizz, there's there's a quarter pound of something in here. Oh yeah, this is like light. This is like, wee, look at my set, it flies in the air. And this is like, if I do this, that's the exact same amount of force. Uh, that's, that's, if that isn't the best Z reviews fucking demonstration ever, is like, look at, I could just fling this up in the air versus like, I'm literally throwing at the exact same strength. Science. Tower of God, Rachel, which is like, mm, ah, as far as music in things goes. And I've decided to go with the single amp test and just swapping wires because people will complain. And I wanted to get this right because we are no longer playing with $100 headphones. We are now playing with $600 headphones. At least that's what they were when I reviewed it. Uh, lower. Yeah, uh, the power requirements actually do change with this mod. The original ones require more power to get to the same volume level, still lower that. Okay. So, <clears throat> he actually did somehow increase the clamp, because if I just let it go, I just try to put my finger in there and do like a little little two finger stretch mode right there. You can see on on this stock one, it's just like wee wee wee, and here it's like uh, again very technical technical specs. I am using these periapt cables. These were official Z reviews periapt cables, and I have a 4.4 Pentacon into a adapter. This is a uh, double helix adapter, just in case for some reason in the skies the topping A90 discrete 4.4 versus that are not uh, the same. Also. Plugging in and out of a 4.4 over and over again, probably not good for it. This will last a lot longer. So going between the modified set and the stock set, 
Um, the actual physical weight does affect it. Like, because these are huge. In case you forgot, these are hilariously huge. So adding mass, and there is mass added to this, sort of, you get, you get to feel them a little bit more, which uh, going to qualify that as a negative. The clamp also, the higher clamp, you feel them, and then you feel them because they're heavier. Uh, as far as sound changes go, very similar to what he's doing with the R70X. We are losing soundstage for control. We are losing space for control. Um, what we're not gaining, though, is bass, because the R9s already have bass. Even with the lighter clamp, even without modification, bass. In fact, this is the first time I was actually listening to them on the A90 Discrete, which I basically have a tattoo on. I have a, my tramp stamp is an A90D. Like, all right, you can't see it, but trust me, it might be there. There's like a 40% chance. Um, so it's like, oh, now I remember why I kept these. Because it's very rare for me to get a headphone worth this much. And I, if I put it on my wall, it's like, all right, there's a reason. And I haven't used it in a while. And now I remember. Now I remember. Because these are still some of the biggest, widest sounding closebacks that are just like, oh, someone was asking me in my patronage chat for $10 a month, you could join the uh, patronage chat and either subscribe to our Patreon, you could ask me any questions you want. And someone put out a question to the community and for me, what would be my on the go, no holds barred, fuck you, close back? And I said Meze lyrics, because the Meze lyrics kind of look cool, they're a little understated, and they fit and they're really comfortable. I would recommend these but you'd immediately be branded as a heretic if you went into like a CVS with these on. So I can't truly recommend them, but they would be amazing to listen to. Um, the modified one, the OCD mod, weight more, heavy more. The bass, I was surprised to find the bass on this felt a little bit, not subdued. It was similar, but like a different shape. Like this changed the shape of the sound in multiple ways. I did a lot of acoustic listening some like very lightweight violins, like the Tower of God is just do, do, do. The My Science Project theme from the 1980 whatever classic My Science Project. Please look it up. Uh, the actual volume difference required is amazing, by the way. It's like seven to 10 different other clicks. It's not decibels, but clicks on this. Relatively speaking, today is tomorrow. What it <sighs> brings it in more, more aggressive, more, more detail. However, I think the tonality changes to a point where it's less natural sounding. Like there was a lot of stuff. It was uh, Lisa Simpson was talking to me in one of the tracks because I have an entire Simpsons flack collection of everything they ever sang in the Simpsons. Don't ask. All right, I don't know where it came from. But there was something wrong. I listened to it on the, the stock ones, and I'm like, okay, that's fine. And I listened to it on the modified ones, and I'm like, oh, she's she's up in my face. It brought her way up into my face. <clears throat> Still sounded like Lisa Simpson, just wasn't as natural. It's the same thing that happened to the RSD7X, where they sounded like uh, Sundaras, where the Sundaras are open, natural, little bass light, little free, little, little, a little more, little more hippie. A little more out there like yeah you know what i just need to have something that sounds different that's what the r9s do by default just with better bass more detail you know they're a close back these are a close back sundara or close to it and these are a close back sundara but better than sundara and with low end they just look dumb as hell and they're also dynamic so i don't know how you, you weigh that they're both dynamic actually but um yeah the modified version it just, it feel, I could feel the weight of everything. Just like this, it's just heavier. It's heavier and closer, and it, it loses something. Just something. I'm not gonna tell you not to do the mod. If you've got the R9s and you're not satisfied with it, and you're not used to that sound, or you don't want that sound, there are alternatives to buy different headphones. You want a heavyweight sound, you get Argons for less money than this, and they're handmade. But if you have them already and you want to try it, I'm like, all right, I want to just see. I'm pretty sure whatever he's doing is probably reversible. I think he said on one of the um, on one of the the posts that he modifies the 3.5 millimeter and it will no longer accept the Bluetooth module, which is strange because I'm like, but the regular wires are still going to work. What the fuck is the Bluetooth module doing that it no longer works with your mod? 
Like, is he changing the phase of something? Maybe he's changing the wired phase, which would still work for a Bluetooth module. So don't know. But I read that in one of the posts. Um, so yeah, thicker, heavier, not muddier bass, but controlled past the point of of natural. It just sounds like control. It's like bass note, bass note, where this is like bass note, bass note. I like the R9s for being the R9s. These, if I, these were just, a, if these were like the Mark II R9 straight from Hyphen without a mod, I would tell you to keep keep the originals, keep the OGs. Um, but there's plenty of people who love this mod, so they can go out, do it, whatever it want, to, whatever you want to do. It doesn't turn it into something grander. It just changes it. It controls this a little more. And I'm a big fan of just let it be, let it be, let it be, man, let it be. Whisper words of wisdom. I forgot there's a TRS on one side on this. Yeah, I forgot about these R9s already and how cool they are. I mean, they're not cool looking, but they're cool headphones. So, yeah, let me give it like one more track. Ooh, the soft parade by the doors. Hold on. Back it up. There was a person there who put forth a proposition. Okay. So now, what I like to listen for when I'm listening, comparing headphones, is echo. Echo in a room. Because that song, The Soft Parade, starts with Jim Morrison just screaming about petitioning the Lord with prayer. Just yelling into like a church room. And I gotta raise the, uh, I gotta raise this up. Hold on. Yeah, no. This doesn't sound like the room is large. This sounds like the room is small. These sound like a bigger room. The S's are a little bit like petition, like petition the Lord with prayer. Petition. I'm feeling those shins a little bit like they're echoing in a giant space. And don't forget to lower this back down to 66. Go back to this again. Yeah, the S's are more controlled, but the room is smaller. So if that's his goal, if he's aiming to control the S's, the highs, he's accomplished that at the loss of soundstage. Imaging is still perfectly fine. Low end is still good, but not as natural sounding, but he's definitely taken the S's away. You cannot petition the Lord with prayer. You can't, you can't do it, I've tried. Um, Here's a great strong one punch man. Let's do this again. Pause that, unplug this, drop that, plug this, plug this onto my head. Yeah, no, it's just more natural sounding. Uh, I prefer the OGs. I prefer the OGs over the OCDs. OGs versus OCDs. So yeah. So appreciate modding. I think the next step, if you want to take these even further, you're 3D printing adapters and you're changing pads. Because I think whatever he's trying to accomplish, because I don't know the actual, like, why. Like, people just modify things because. I have those Shure 1540s over there, which I've been meaning to modify forever, because they sound like ass, but they're so well built and they're so comfortable and I'd want to keep the pads on them. It's just like that project scares me because I don't know where I would even begin. Would I do dampening first and keep the original driver? Would I try to put vent holes? Would I try to put dampening on the around it, space things? Modifying a headphone and doing it to the point where you could actually say, hey, I did this, does anybody want to repeat it? Or do you want to purchase my mod? That takes guts. Because this is more, it's like the Argons. The Ryan and, and Mod House and the, and the T50 Argons and T60 Argons, that's his passion project. He, he heard something and went, I can do better and put his name out there. And these OCD mods, and the uh, the guy who did it, we have him up and yeah, John, the guy John Marasa, Masara, I'm not gonna say it right. He's from New Long Island, which is actually uh, my hometown, New York, baby. Um, he put his, his his shit out there, and he's like, "This is what I think they should sound like." He's obviously happy with that, 
and that's it. If you like his sound, you go with his sound. Any mods in the future are probably going to be aiming in the exact same way. Control the high end, bring it closer, sort of hammer it down and get it focused. I, on the personal, I personally, on the other hand, just like fucking freeform head, headphone sounds. Let, let it let it out there. Let it wider, a little bit light. I want super unique. I don't want it to hurt ever. Like that's a that's a kind of a rule. Most things in life, I don't want pain. Well, sometimes you want pain. It's a it's it's a, it's a balance thing. But overall, I don't mind if something's a little bit. I'm gonna say the word wonky. None of these are wonky, but I don't mind a little bit of like extreme difference because I have so many choices. If you don't have so many choices and you're stuck with one or two headphones. You focus it. Also, it turns out he's a producer, like a, like a producer on TV shows. So he does a lot of actual editing. And I would not have recommended either of these as a base unit to start editing with. I think that has a lot to do with what we're looking at here. If you are a professional editor and you need neutral, and for some reason you couldn't buy Shure 840s or... Uh, let's see, the, the Mackie MC450s or Neumann NDH20s or 30s or more like 20s. But if you couldn't buy those and you were stuck with this pair or this pair, that's what he made them for. He tried to he tried to balance them out so they probably measure so much better. I guarantee you these modified ones measure better. Um, but to me, to my ears, for enjoyment purposes, pure enjoyment, stick with the stocks. Anyway, links to the forum post for these on Hi-Fi Guides if you want to follow it. If I can't get them posted on Hi-Fi Guides, I'll link to HeadFi. If you can't link to HeadFi, I'll link to uh, our headphones, which I am banned from, by the way, for years. Because apparently you can't make money reviewing headphones and still be allowed there. Because, you know, that gives you motivation to lie. Good luck. Anyway, well, waifus. And you could tell this is... I picked... Um, uh, REM, because there's just something off. Like, you could tell it's REM, but let's say a girl cosplaying as REM. Just, the eyes aren't right. Just the eyes. The eyes aren't right. So it's just like that was the perfect wallpaper for these. There's just something different. Not wrong, just different. So, like I said, Patreon, subscribe star, see reviews early, participate in yard sales internationally. Um, hear loss of sound demos. I was considering sound demoing these against the OGs, but I don't think... It's going to be a blatant, like, it'll be blatant enough on my end, but to get that translated across YouTube, even with the loss of sound demos for patrons, I don't know. Maybe I'll do it because I, I have to keep these around for like another week if I'm going to do that. If I set up the sound demo rig, I will go back, find the sound demo of these and the sound demo of these, and I will steal five tracks from each and then sound demo five and five and make it one video. Because it's just, uh, sound demos are a pain in the ass. I really need, like, Sweetwater to get in touch with me and just give me, like, $2,000 in microphones. Or $10,000 in microphones. So I don't have to keep swapping mics in and out for sound demos of speakers and sound demos of headphones. I'm just complaining now. Wallpaper, waifu, description, uh, every wallpaper I've ever used, along with the the link to this, you drop it in an imager link, you replace it, you go. $5 a month, see reviews early, participate in yard sales, sound demos. $10 a month, uh, join the patronage chat on Telegram, ask me any questions you'd like. I'll answer your questions, they'll answer your questions. And uh, you get access to a lifetime swap meet channel. So if you buy, sell, and trade gear, you could do it there. And then check out the forums. Like I mentioned, Hi-Fi Guides and the Hi-Fi Guides forum. And then, yeah, we're good. We're good, I'm good, you're good, we're good. Thank you, see you in two days.